right. Do you smell that? What me? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Mm. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. That's good, because that sounds gross. Here, I have another surprise for you. This music's so peaceful. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Way to burn the pie, Dorio. Okay. Oh, so this is our room. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Well, aren't I a prick? An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Okay. A box of kids' shoes and disparity of sizes. That's a little creepy. You gotta be honest with you. That's so neat. In case anybody was trying to stay awake till midnight, good luck now. I'll play the game now. Go, Jenny. You have seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. What about this one? Nothing. What about this one? Nothing. Okay, what's this? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. Do you have a favorite character in Undertale? Um... I mean, honestly, it's probably Naps to Bluke. <laughs> or Papyrus. <laughs> I like Papyrus too. Read the Circle Passage. Also, Deku, keep it spoiler-free. We do have people in the chat who have not played this game, so we are keeping the magic alive. Not that that was a spoiler, but just so you know. <laughs> Let's see it. Do we read the passage? Let's do it. She ain't around. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. <laughs> I get it. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. It's my kind of jokes. I do like Toriel a lot. She's pretty cute. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. No, more commonly, it's water sausages. We peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. Ooh. Sorry, Toriel. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheerio. Just a regular old bucket of snails. I bet that smells after a while. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most center of plants. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. It's you! Oh! It's water sausage. Ah, it's water sausages. There's two. Room under renovations. BRB. Okay. Ooh, 
go this way or we go this way? We'll go this way first. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. So Toriel is a nerd. Okay. Whoop. I think you should play upstairs instead. Well, I don't. It's dangerous to play here. How many times can we do this? Run for it! It's drafty here. You will catch a cold. You are full of excuses, woman. Okay. Clearly we can't go that way. Swoop. Look how cozy. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Such a good mom. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Mm, no. You'd rather stay up and chat with me then? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. You are really prepared in that five seconds I've been here. Well, actually, I guess I've been here like, I've been here almost two hours. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing or when can I go home? Mm, nothing. I like it here. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. What's not? That does not seem like a smart choice. What's this way? The kitchen. It's in the fridge. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Is it Hershey's? Probably. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. That's cute. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Okay. So... So we'll go take that nap. Boop. She brought us pie. What a good mom. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Mmm. That sounds pretty good. ominously quiet down here. There is nothing to see here, which means there's everything to see here. Do you want to read a book? No. What do I look like to you? Some kind of nerd? I do not like the game you are playing. Oh, she looks pissed. <laughs> Pushing her buttons. Why not 
not go for a walk in the yard. I've already been out there. Oh, come on. Really now? That's what I'm saying. Really now? Stop stopping me. Okay. Okay. You win. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not anything else. What is it? Okay. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Well, since nobody's looking. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? That I do. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. Root. Really? No one will ever be able to leave again. I trusted you, Toria. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Mm, no. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Ascor, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. I don't like to do what people tell me to do, so no. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Ooh. Mom again, serious. I'm about to get grounded. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you were strong enough to survive. Toria blocks the way. No, no, not by. Act. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, she'll snit. Oh. Toria looks through you. Um. Spare. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Item. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, well I got two dots that time. Three dots that time. <laughs> oh God. Our fate rests upon you. Tiny, stay determined. Rip. That's a two for the death counter.
prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. And here we go. Oh god. Toriel blocks the way. Okay. Oh no, we were gonna... I'm gonna try to mercy her. Spare. Yeah. Nope. That's not how you do it. Maybe if I go up. 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 Oh no. That is cheating. Toriel takes a deep breath. Okay, so not up. Oh god. Okay. Alright. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Oh, I've got 7 HP. Am I gonna survive? I didn't pay attention to how much HP that took. Okay, I'm gonna be stupid. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 1 HP. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, ah! Hey, I didn't get hit that time. What are you doing? I'm trying not to die, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Toriel looks through you. Attack or run away? Nah. Oh, shit. Acting aloof. Spare. What are you proving this way? I'm proving that I suck at computer games. Toriel takes a deep breath. Spare. Fight me or leave. No! It's like a sweet spot right in there. Oh, I only have 4 HP left. <laughs> Stop it. You stop it. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. You and me both, girl. Let me sip some tea. Are we ready? Please don't die. I have 4 HP. <laughs> stop looking at me that way. Well, then stop being a turd. <laughs> I have two HP left. Go away. You go away. Oh, she's avoiding me now. Look. Toriel is acting aloof. Mercy. Spare. Oh, we're back to the dots again. Oh, but she's avoiding me now. Toriel prepares a magical attack. hear the fireworks going on. <laughs> we actually have a shooting range behind our house, so fireworks are actually welcome in comparison to the shooting range bombs going off. It literally sounds like there's bombs going off usually behind our house. Real festive for the stream. Let me know if you can't hear me over that chaos going on. Spare. Did we do it, guys? With two HP left. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Dude, no. I'm pretty sure the game will not progress. Your six-month-old is asleep, thankfully. Oh. Ours, um, she has tummy problems. So she sleeps for about, like, five minutes at a time. Um, she's getting to where she'll sleep a little bit at night, but, um... Oh. Your wife is off dairy. I um I wanted to do that, but I can't do an elimination diet for my own health reasons. Um, so we ended up having to take her off breast milk and going to um, a hypoallergenic formula 
and then that made her acid reflux really bad, and it's just, it's been a fun, it's been a fun two months. And now she started teething, because 2020, real fun. Um, so my husband's actually upstairs with her, uh, rubbing baby aura gel on her gums. All right, spare. Haha. <laughs> Spare. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. We are laying on the guilt trip real thick. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. I'm not crying, you're crying. Goodbye, my child. Oh, Dorio. Mom! Alright, we did it, guys. Oh. Clever, very clever, you turd. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. I bet you feel really great. I do. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Ooh, he looks so creepy. <laughs> or will you give up entirely on this world, and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Oh, good. <laughs> it's a thing of nightmares. Name drop. Undertale, we made it past the intro. <laughs>